Abraham Maslow was a renowned psychologist whose biggest contribution to the field of psychology is the Maslow's need hierarchy theory. He believed that all human beings strive to achieve satisfaction in life through the fulfillment of certain needs. He had an intensely sad and unhappy childhood and had to face several hurdles while growing up. When the US entered the World War II in 1941, Maslow was too old to enlist and was ineligible for the military. However, the horrors of wars, inspired a vision of peace on him and influenced his psychological ideas and helped him develop the discipline of humanistic psychology. He proposed a theory of needs hierarchy in his 1943 paper A Theory of Human Motivation in Psychological Review. This theory was explained in detail in his 1954 book Motivation and Personality. He was of the view that human beings have a set of needs that need to be fulfilled hierarchically in order to achieve self-actualization. According to him the needs could be classified as, physiological, safety, belongingness, and love, esteem, self-actualization and self-transcendence needs. Some lines about his theory says that, if you plan on being anything less than you are capable of being, you will probably be unhappy all the days of your life. The fact is that people are good, give people affection and security, and they will give affection and be secure in their feelings and their behavior. If I were dropped out of a plane into the ocean and told the nearest land was a thousand miles away, I'd still swim. And I despise the one who gave up. Classic economic theory, based as it is on an inadequate theory of human motivation, could be revolutionized by accepting the reality of higher human needs, including the impulse to self-actualization and the love for the highest values. With a tree, all the growth takes place at the growing tips. Humanity is exactly the same. All the growth takes place in the growing tip, among that 1% of the population. It's made up of pioneers, the beginners. That's where the action is. If you think only of evil, then you become pessimistic and hopeless like Freud. But if you think there is no evil, then you're just one more deluded Pollyanna. All the evidence that we have indicates that it is reasonable to assume in practically every human being, and certainly in almost every newborn baby, that there is an active will toward health an impulse towards growth, or towards the actualization. Good psychology should include all the methodological techniques, without having loyalty to one method, one idea, or one person. It is as necessary for man to live in beauty rather than ugliness as it is necessary for him to have food for an aching belly or rest for a weary body. Behavior in the human being is sometimes a defense, a way of concealing motives and thoughts, as language can be a way of hiding your thoughts and preventing communication. A musician must make music, an artist must paint, a poet must write, if he is to be ultimately at peace with himself. The science of psychology has been far more successful on the negative than on the positive side. It has revealed to us much about man's shortcomings, his illnesses, his sins, but little about his potentialities, his virtues, his achievable aspirations, or his psychological health. Work is that which you dislike doing but perform for the sake of external rewards. At school, this takes the form of grades. In society, it means money, status, privilege. The American Psychological Association presents the Abraham Maslow Award to individuals for their outstanding and lasting contribution to the exploration of the farther reaches of human spirit.